Hello and welcome to another Stamp with Amy K YouTube Live. And today I'm going to show you some really fun things that I got from the new uh, Stampin' Up! mini catalog, which will be coming out. It's the January to April 2024 mini catalog and uh, celebration brochure. And these will all be available to order beginning on January 4th. Um, right now they're available for demonstrators to pre-order. So that is how I got my little hands on these a little bit early. Um, so anyway, it's a really good catalog. I think you're going to like it. I think you're going to like seeing the fun stuff in it. And um, yeah, like I said, so I've got some celebration items. I've got some um, mini catalog items. Um, that I did an unboxing video, I don't know, probably two, three weeks ago, something like that, with some products that I was able to do a special pre-order for because I attended an event. Um, so I'm not going to show you those again. These are just the items that I ordered this time around in addition to those so like i said there are lots of good things in the catalog lots of fun things coming up and yeah i'm glad people are here carol and linda and nancy so um, and carol i'm glad y'all are joining today so i can show you the cover of the brochure and catalog but i can't show you the inside just yet i actually have a huge stack of them sitting on my table in front of me as i'm talking and i'm sticking labels on them like crazy and i should be mailing them out to my customers tomorrow so look for those in your mailboxes probably um maybe some this weekend and hopefully early next week y'all will have them so yay so i see uh denise is here as well and it looks like kim and um yep deborah so thanks everybody for joining so this is a celebration brochure you've probably seen um some pictures of it already and then we've got the mini catalog. This is the, again, January to April 2024 mini catalog. And uh, this, again, will go live for ordering starting on January 4th. And I'm trying to keep an eye on the comments as well. So if I miss anything, if you have questions about anything, holler at me and let me know. Um, but uh, yeah, I've got it set up off to the side so I can hopefully keep track of comments as I go through this and um, answer any questions that we've got. So let me start with um, this pretty new thing. So I'll kind of slide it down and hopefully you can see the top of it. And then um, I'll slide it back up here so hopefully you can see the bottom of it. I can't slide it too far because I have stuff stacked everywhere. This is a new glass mat from Stampin' Up! So it's got the pretty flowers on the edge. It's got the... Um, uh, uh, rulers, whatever you want to call them, measurements along the side of it. It is glass. In fact, there are rubber feet on the bottom of it, so it doesn't wiggle around very much, although I'm probably wiggling the screen as I do that. Um, it's a little shiny, so there I can see that there's a reflection of my lights <laughs> up above here uh, on the, the um, glass mat. But anyway, so it's very pretty. And then uh, it is a glass mat studio, so there are a few things that come with it. There's this cool little thing that actually sticks to it. So oh, I really wiggled the table there. So you can put this down on it and you can use it for um, mixing things, for your know, ink spots fit perfectly into these little squares. Um, again, it's a non-skid surface. So when you're doing your work on here, you can pick it up and move it around. Uh, so again, designed to work with your glass mat. And then I didn't take this out, but it's a cleaning cloth that you can use to clean the glass mat. So this all comes together as part of the glass mat studio. And this actually is pretty awesome. Um, we Actually, it's going to be available for free for anyone who joins as an option. There are two options uh, during celebration. So starting on January 4th, running through the end of February, this will be an option to get for free if you join Stamp It Up. Uh, demonstrators can actually pre-order it right now. Only during pre-order, demonstrators can get it, and then supposedly it's gonna be available again later on down the road, but they haven't given us any specifics on when that will be. But it's a beautiful, I can't wait to stamp on it. I just pulled it out of the box, so I, did, <laughs> I haven't done any work on it yet, um, but it's so pretty. So I just wanted to show you that and talk with you a little bit about it, and that you may see it kind of in some upcoming videos and things. And I guess I can leave it there because it's not gonna hurt anything. Um, if I bang into it too many times, I may slide it out of the way, but um, for now, we'll just leave it. So there we go. Although I keep hitting my ring on it, sorry. <laughs> All right, so let's get started with some of the sweets that I ordered. Um, again, my first pre-order, the unboxing video I did a couple weeks ago, I ordered a whole pile of sweets. So this time around, there weren't that many sweets. There were only two sweets left to order that I wasn't um, planning to order. So there are a couple of other ones in the catalog that I don't, can you even believe it, that I didn't order. <laughs> so there are a handful of things that I didn't, but I did order an awful lot. So. Um, hey, everybody. Thanks, everybody, for hopping in and checking out the video. I'm glad you all are here. Glad you're joining. And um, 
yeah, so let's get started. So this is Love of a Lifetime. This is a stamp set, obviously. It's um, got some pretty uh, wishing you a lifetime of love and happiness forever and always. Congratulations on your wedding and I love you. And then there's some pretty floral images. There are some beautiful dies called Love of a Lifetime that coordinate with it. So the open dies in here will cut out your stamped flowers. And then there is kind of almost a wreath look. And this is kind of a cool, um, kind of an ovaly uh, frame that you can use as well. And I'm guessing that will fit perfectly right around this sentiment. Uh, so lots of pretties on here. Uh, a beautiful die set. Again, this is called Love of a Lifetime and Love of a Lifetime dies. So coordinating. Um, and then the suite also has um, some, let's see, what is this? Uh, pretty peacock and gold metallic ribbon it says three or three eighths of an inch wide so it's real pretty and kind of shimmery i'll hold it up here in front of the screen hopefully give it a second to to um be able to adjust and and zoom in a little bit on it so hopefully you can see it it's um not a super soft ribbon it's a little bit uh but it's not like a stiff ribbon i wouldn't call it that but it's I don't know, it's got some texture to it, so, um, but I think it will tie pretty bows and it will look beautiful with the designer series paper in this suite. Um, also in the suite are the Petal Pink and Pretty Peacock Foil Gems. A uh, little pack of those, so those are pretty and sparkly, and again, will go perfectly with the ribbon and the uh, designer series paper in the suite. And then there is a pack, oh, I got my little packaging for the gems here and then there is a pack of gold foiled flowers cards and envelopes and they are very vanilla and gold and they are beautiful so it's an entire card base so obviously scored down the middle but it's got gold foiling on it and i think it's going to be beautiful um, to layer sentiments on top of it just white on the inside and then there's a really fancy pretty little envelope that goes with it so um, again this cards and envelopes pack so mixed together and then um, it there actually does have a little seal here so this part is going to be loose so I don't know how well this would go through the mail. I'm thinking you might need to secure it down in some way or maybe put inside another envelope so that it stays pretty because <laughs> you want it to look nice when it gets there. Um, so again, these are the gold foiled flowers, cards, and envelopes, and they're part of that same um, Love of a Lifetime suite. And then the final piece of this suite is some beautiful designer series paper. So this is the um, Forever Love 12 by 12 specialty paper, designer series paper, and it is Moody Mauve, Petal Pink, Pretty Peacock, and Very Vanilla are the colors in it. So obviously it's got some pretty gold foiling in it. Um, so checking out that side and then flip it over. And this one's got just kind of little dashed lines in it. It looks like uh, Pretty Peacock to me in the color on that one. And then we've got some pretty flowers. And then the flip side, we've got more pretty flowers. So only one side is foiled, the other side is not. I'm gonna set these over here because I'm gonna end up knocking everything on the floor if I don't, if I'm not careful. So this one's got some pretty roses in it. Hopefully you can see those. And then flip it over and we've got um, the petal pink on the back of it and vanilla. Uh, some more pretty flowers. So these are really nice. I like this one too similar to the um, cards and envelopes. And then backside has got pretty peacock and very vanilla as well. And then we've got some little rows of vines. And I'll flip it over here. And backside has got um, moody mauve and vanilla stripes. And then the final sheet has got the um, pretty uh, foiled flowers on it. And you know what, I just realized, I wonder if the dies, if any of these will coordinate. Hmm, let me try one. Nope, that one doesn't. I thought maybe. Oh, nope, nope. Oh, it was close. I thought maybe. <laughs> so it may be one of the smaller ones might. I don't know if it really said in the, oh, that one works. So there you go. Got at least one of the flowers you can cut out with uh, some of the dyes and I'll have to play around and see what other ones actually work with the, the paper. I hadn't thought to check that before now, so. And then backside of this one has just got some pretty greenery, although it's blue, so I guess bluery. I don't know what you would call it. All right, so that is it for the, this is actually the Forever Love Suite because I always name it after the designer series paper. Um, and pretty, lots of pretty things in that one. Good one for weddings and anniversaries and that sort of thing. So 
the DSP is really pretty. In the whole catalog, it's really fantastic designer paper. And the celebration stuff is really nice, too. So, all right. So this is the, um, the final suite, actually. Like I said, the other my other unboxing, I showed you a pile of the suites that are in the catalog. So there weren't too many left to order. So this is the Thoughtful Expressions stamp set. Um, so got some pretty, some fun sentiments in it. Enjoy your day. Where in the world would I be without you? Um, sometimes there are no words and you're in my thoughts today. And the beautiful hummingbird and yay, dies that coordinate with the hummingbird, um, the flowers, Oh, obviously the couple flower stamps in here and then some nice kind of nested ones that look like they are going to cut um, on both sides. It's one of those where it'll, uh, you can either use the positive or the negative for this one and this one as well. Um, so, uh, all right, cool. Glad you're here. Thanks for joining, Linda. So, and these are the Thoughtful Expressions dies. So, um, again, there are some little accessory pieces in here as well, some um, leaves and flowers and that sort of thing. But I can't wait to start playing with the dyes in here because there are some good ones for sentiments and actually for lots of images. So, so again, Thoughtful Expressions is the name of that. And then we've got the Champagne Iridescent Dots, and I'm going to try to open these and not explode them everywhere. That's always my fear doing this live. Um, so they're pretty, and you're seeing a lot of the backside. The front side of them is really... It's the shiny part. The back side that you're seeing is kind of the more dull look to it. So hopefully you can see there are piles of them in here and they're shiny and they're pretty. Um, and see, I t there's all kinds of good things in this catalog. And yes, you do need it all. It's it's a bad thing. Well, it's a good thing. <laughs> so because there are lots of pretty things in here. All right. So this is the Poetic Expressions 12 by 12 Designer Series paper. Colors are boho, blue, bubble gum, or bubble bath. I call it bubble gum. Good Lord. Um, uh, Lost Lagoon, Moody Mauve, Mossy Meadow, and Wild Wheat. So again, it's the Poetic Expressions Designer Series paper. And... Um, it coordinates with the, the Thoughtful Expression stamp set. So this one's obviously your wild wheat and it's floral. Backside has got shades of blue in it. it. Looks like boho blue to me. And then this one I love. Oh, okay. Trying to get these shoved out of the way. Um, just pretty little flowers on here. Little pink and um, wild wheat flowers. And there we go. Backside's kind of a textured look. And then we've got some Moody Mauve. I'll flip it over. Again, just kind of a more generic design. Not generic. That's the wrong word for it. <laughs> just a more neutral design on the back. And there is the bubble bath. So we've got lots of uh, pretty pink there. And then backside. It's got the boho blue. And then pretty peak. Pretty, no, not pretty peacock. <laughs> Goodness, it's late in the day and apparently I can't talk. Bubble bath and wild wheat on that one. And then the backside kind of almost looks like fabric to me. So it's kind of a, just a textured look. And then we've got final sheet here of uh, boho blue. And then the backside's got moody mauve and your bubble bath and a little bit of white and maybe vanilla on there. So, all right, so that is the... Um, poetic Expressions Suite. So again, that's one of the new suites in the catalog. Um, got stamp set bundle and uh, gems that go with it. Uh, next up, we've just got a whole pile of bundles. So for Easter, always awesome to have a pretty Easter set. So we've got Easter lilies and um, got some beautiful, obviously, Easter lilies in it and some good uh, Easter sentiments in it. And then we have got the Easter lilies dies that coordinate with it. So the open dies are the ones that are going to cut out your stamped images. And then it looks like you'll be able to build your own Easter lily because there's a little center and then there are the petals, there are the... Um, leaves. So should be able to build your own and it should be really pretty. So um, obviously these are smaller than um, what they appear on the front cover. So that gives you a better idea of how big the images are. So they're really pretty. And it's a nice size. I like that they're a little bit bigger. So rather than teeny tiny little flowers. So that is Easter lilies. And then we've got the Enduring Beauty stamp set bundle. This one's also a photopolymer. So um, Got it's a, a large floral image, and then we've got some good sentiments that go with it. This one's kind of a cool one because it's um, bundled together with the Enduring Beauty dies, which will cut out your stamped image here, and then there, there's a sentiment uh, die as well, and then some little accessory pieces. And then there are the Enduring Beauty decorative masks. So 
This one's kind of cool because you can stamp the outline of the image and then take your decorative masks and obviously the, it's smaller in size and lay them over the top of the image once it's stamped and add color with the decorative masks to the image rather than having to color it um, with markers and that sort of thing. So this one should be fun to play with. I can't wait to be able to kind of layer it together and see what it all looks like all done. And um, yeah, just do some die cutting and you know, I do love stenciling. So lots of good stuff with that one. Uh, then we've got the Hooray for Surprises stamp set. Uh, just a fun little birthday one. Um, can't wait to see you, uh, sending lots of love, all that sort of thing. So just a fun little uh, stamp set bundle here and some cute dies that coordinate with it. So the open dies are gonna um, cut out your sentiments and things. And this one's actually kind of a cool little thing because I don't know if you see this and then you can, I haven't played with it, so I, I can't say for sure exactly how all these will work together, but this will make like the little rip open um, sentiments. So you can layer cardstock over the top Cut it with this, which will cut and emboss, so it'll hold it in place. And then there'll be a little tab that you can tear off. Um, and you can stamp the sentiments underneath it, so that'll be kind of cool. And these dies, I believe, do the same thing, where it's going to open. You'll be able to rip open a little tab here, um, as well as this heart day. I think it will do the same thing. Anything that's got the little tab on it should be able to pop it open. And, yeah, so this one should be fun to play with. I can't wait to... to uh, be able to do a little die cutting and see how these all work for sure but it looks like it should be pretty cool and a lot of fun so can't wait to see yep i know and that'll be one of the first ones hopefully i'll start playing with that one <laughs> so i agree all right wild ferns is the next stamp set bundle um so this one has got some beautiful fern images obviously wild ferns Go, you know, good name, some good sentiments in there. Um, so, you know, again, just kind of like the mixed fonts, everything, you know, that I like in a stamp set. I got a little background image. And then the coolest dies, these are the Wild Fern dies. And this is another one of those. We have some that are similar um, in the annual catalog where you can cut these pieces and layer them underneath your sentiments. So we've got the little layering pieces for under the sentiments. And they got sentiment dies, which is awesome. And then um, we've got some open dies here that will cut the stamped images and then some little accessory pieces as well so again this is called wild ferns and lots of you know very pretty so hey everybody and hello to everybody that's hopping in i know that um some of you've been joining and i've been trying to keep watching the comments but i'm also trying to you know pay a little attention so if you join or again if you have any questions about anything just holler and i'll um hopefully we'll catch your comment so uh sending love is the next stamp set bundle so this one's pretty cute uh obviously it looks like little mail like when they cancel out your postage here and then this one looks like also to me like when they You'd stamp right over the top of a stamp. Um, a little love from you to me, and then welcome friend. So in a cute little mailbox. And then I like this. This looks like um, kind of the old time mail envelopes that they used to. Was it airmail? I think it was airmail where they used to um, have that little image along the edge of them. And then we got this cute little die set that goes with it. Again, these are the sending love dies. So the open dies are going to cut out your stamped images. And then I'm gonna, I don't even, I should have looked in the catalog a little closer at this one. It looks like it will f like wrap around and I don't know, I'll have to play with it. This one I know makes an envelope, obviously. Oh, it's a mailbox, duh. <laughs> so it makes a little mailbox, so that's the open. And this will flip over the top and you can put a little flag in here. So there's a little hole for the flag and then you can fold up your envelope and stick it inside the little mailbox. So. This one's definitely going to be a lot of fun to play with. Got a little grass image here, a um, little shrubbery. Like I said, just some kind of fun dies. And there's your flag that you can put on this mailbox here as well. Um, so, yeah, this one will be fun. All right. Uh, next up, we've got the Everyday Details stamp set bundle. And this one is its a really pretty stamp set. Um, love the images in it. And again, love the mixed fonts. Uh, wishing you so much joy on your special day. Um, overjoyed for you in this journey. Uh, you make every day a little brighter. So again, just some pretty little uh, sentiments and pretty images in it. And then they've got a big set of coordinating dies. And these are the Everyday Details dies. And these are pretty cool. <laughs> so again, always looking for uh, circles and rectangles. Those are ones that I definitely use all the time on my card fronts. And it looks like it's going to cut a circle and then it's going to cut these little kind of, um, I wouldn't call them stitched because it looks like they're, it's going to cut little holes in your um, the edges of your die cuts. So 
same thing with the rectangles. And then this one, it looks like you could do it as a border as well as these. Um, you can do just kind of lay them on a piece of cardstock on your card front and cut a little border with them. So again, Everyday Details is the name of this one. And it's a pretty cool bundle. I'm gonna set these on the floor. I'll be right back. Oh. All right. And next up, uh, who remembers brayering? It's been a while since we've had a little brayer. Um, thing <laughs> in the catalog. So Stampin' Up! is bringing it back, thank goodness. As much as I love blending brushes, there are some things that just work better with brayers. So there's, this isn't a suite, but it's all on the same page. And so they're kind of, it's, they're, you know, put it together and sort of show you how everything can work together. But again, you know, you can use it however you want to. But um, so I figured I'd show you everything together. So this is the brayer. It's a, you know, it's a fairly, it's not like super, super hard, but it's, it's a fairly solid brayer. And it's got a nice little, um, if you put it this way, you actually will keep it up and off your project so you don't accidentally set this down on your project. Um, obviously, this way is the side you're going to use if you're actually working on the project. And then flip it over and you can set it down without getting ink all over everything. So a nice little brayer. And then they've got this cool die set. This is one of the hybrid embossing folders. It's called Thoughtful Moments. And there's a thank you, oh, happy day, thinking of you, hello, love you, um, you make me happy, get well, with sympathy, celebrate, and just because. Um, these are all in the embossing folder. And the way they showed us, you can actually take the brayer and put ink across this side of it. And then you'll take the die and you'll lay it on the inside of it, put your paper in it, close it up, and then you will ink the, the um, outline of the image and cut it at the same time with your embossing folder. So this one's gonna be pretty cool. And I know that, you know, lots of sentiments in here that I use all the time. So definitely can't wait to, to uh, play around with that one. So, um, you love the bird's nest? Yep, it's a good one. It's, yep, it's pretty. So, all right, so this, I don't know if it, it shows it off a little bit better than me trying to hold the, <laughs> the uh, embossing folder, but those are the sentiments that are on it. And then on the same page, again, they, they aren't really a bundled together or anything. I mean, this is bundled together and this is all one thing, but um, it's another die set and uh, hybrid embossing folder set that you can use a brayer with really easily. So this is the Adoring Hearts uh, hybrid embossing folder. So this one's got the, obviously the raised images on it. So you can add a little ink to the hearts in here, uh, put the dies inside the um, embossing folder and then cut and emboss your cards or your uh, little heart images at the same time. Or you can just use it as an embossing folder um, or you can just ink it and use it as an embossing folder or you can just use the die. So however you want to use it, um, but they are designed to work all together if you want to get the cutting and embossing at the same time. So again, Adoring Hearts is the name of the stamp set. Again, just a, a good one. Valentine's uh, celebrating you. And again, lots of pretty little hearts, flowers, fun things. Love the little banner in here and there's a just for you that'll work on that banner. Um, so yeah, so there you go. Again, it's called uh, Adoring Hearts and it's got a hybrid embossing folder that comes with it. And just so you know, when you order the hybrid embossing folder, you get actually the die set and the embossing folder. So when it says hybrid embossing folder, you get everything together when you order it. So you don't have to worry about trying to figure out how to get the embossing folder. Um, so again, there's a little image of the embossing folder. It's a little smaller, but hopefully you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. So um, next up, we have got the Bright Skies uh, stamp set bundle. So this is a fun one. Again, you know, brighter skies are on the way. You brighten my cloudy day, uh, sprinkled with love. So again, just clouds, sun, flowers, rain, um, a cute one. And then the Bright Skies uh, dies that go with it. So these are stitched along the edge, which is fun. So there's um, this one is going to cut out this cloud. This one is going to cut out this cloud. There's one for the sun here. Um, there are a couple just accessory pieces. There's a little, you can cut layers of clouds, so kind of do a little scalloped layering look. Um, lots of raindrops. So cute little flowers. Um, so this is a, a fun um, stamp set bundle. And there's actually some coordinating design, designer series paper in the celebration catalog for that. So I'll show you that in just a minute. Um, then we've got the flower cart um, stamp set bundle. This one has got, it's got a Mother's Day sentiment, yay, and a birthday sentiment. Um, have a lovely day, happy hello. Um, I, I love how our friendship has grown, so some pretty images. These, it's a little hard to tell, but it's actually two-step stamping, so you can stamp 
this will be kind of the greenery and then the flowers that go inside it. Uh, same thing with this one, it's two-step stamping. Um, and I think this one will actually fit on the little easel as well as some of your sentiments will fit on there. And then there's a the little cart um, that, uh, with the flower pots on it or not. You can use it however you want to, but that's a cute little bundle. And then we've got the flower cart dies, which again, anything that you stamp with the open images, you can, or open dies, you can die cut it. And then you can also build the cart without actually stamping. So there's the little wooden piece, there's a background piece, um, the wheels, the little, uh, it's not a gate, it's, um, uh, I can't think of like a railing type thing for the cart. Um, what else? I think that's about it. So, oh, little banners. Um, so anyway, this should be a fun one. And again, all the open, um, you can cut out your uh, stamped images. Oh, and this one will cut out your little, um, well, there's one here that will cut the stamped image. And then if you don't want to have to stamp it, this one will actually cut the little canopy as well. So, um, all right, so we've got flower cart. Uh, next up, this one is beautiful. It is called Delicate Forest. Um, the, the sentiments are nice in here. You make good things better. Stay strong, my friend. You'll get through this. Uh, hope each passing day lets in a little more sunshine and sending our love. So that's a, a sweet one. And then we've got some pretty uh, images in here, some kind of foresty type images. And then the Delicate Forest dies are beautiful. So we've got some die cuts, some open ones here for the sentiment. And then there's this one that cuts like a little archway and then some kind of greenery pieces that you can layer back behind the archway if you want to, or you can create a card separately with those, um, however you want to use them. So this one will be pretty and I can't, I can't wait to start playing with the dies on this one. All right. So again, called Delicate Forest. Uh, next up, another Easter set. This one is called Excellent Eggs. And um, it's just a fun little Easter and spring one. Um, so we've got uh, Happy Easter, Hello Spring, There's No Bunny Like You and Thinking of You, and then some fun little Easter eggs and the cute little bunny as well. Yikes, sorry, there's, I know there's a glare on here, so I'm looking and realizing that I've tilted it just wrong. So, And then we've got um, the Excellent Eggs excellent eggs dies, which these cut and emboss at the same time. And I'm guessing that this one and this one will cut out this and this stamped image. And then we've got the little one for the bunny here. And then there's a little um, kind of a chevron look die cut and then just a straight line and then a little scalloped. So this one should be uh, a fun one for Easter as well. And then the last stamp and die bundle that I got here is called Beach Day. I thought this one was way cute. <laughs> it says sending sunshine your way, um, wishing you a beautiful day, happy birthday, enjoy today. And then there is the, the little um, lifeguard tower in here. There's a surfboard, birds, um, little sandcastle, umbrella, little beach chair, a little beach grass. Uh, and then it's got coordinating dies that go with it. So um, again, this is one of those where you can actually stamp and die cut the image with the open ones, or you can just build it with um, the die cuts in here. So there are palm trees and then there's the little um, lifeguard house and, you know, stilts for underneath it, uh, a little fence. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, oh, no problem, Carol. Thanks for hopping in. Glad you were able to join us. So, um, so again, yeah, just some fun ones. There's a little... Um, uh, light, life ring. So it's a cute set of dies. So definitely a fun one again called beach day. I'm going to set these aside. So hang on a second. Then there are a couple, oh, I better put the brayer down here before I knock that on the floor too. Um, there are a couple of fun and it just fell on the floor. Anyway, I set it on top of my stack. I should know better. <laughs> so, all right, this one is a fun one. It's called submarine life. And again, a cute one, uh, whether you have kids or don't have kids, I think this one's just cute. Um, so there's a little octopus and crab and little fish and starfish. There's the little submarine, um, the propeller. There's little, looks like waves behind the submarine. Um, bottom of the ocean, seaweed, some lots of little fish images. And then happy birthday floating by just to say hi, sending oceans of love, you are sublime. And then a little hello. So again, this one's called Submarine Life. And it comes with a punch, so yay. <laughs> so um, it's got, again, just your little submarine that you can stamp and punch out, the little propeller, and then I think that's a periscope, maybe? I think that's what it is. I don't know. I think it goes on the top of here. <laughs> Whatever that thing is, that's what that is. <laughs> so anyway, so there's a punch for that. All right, so again, called Submarine Life, and this one's really cute and uh, fun, so... 
All right, and one more bundle. This one is called Cutest Cows. And yes, this is like the cutest little cow ever. <laughs> so um, there's little cow pieces here. So we've got, um, you can stamp the, the body, stamp the little face. There's a sitting down, there's an opposite facing cow. Um, again, little heads that go with it. I love those little sunflowers. And then there's little chickens and your milk can, more flowers, little pieces of grass, and then some fun little faces. So if you don't wanna have to actually uh, stamp the cow, you can just stamp the face and then punch it out. And then little things you do make such a big difference. Holy cow, congratulations. Uh, milk it for all it's worth. Um, that's moo, uh, or what's moo with you is what that one says. And then thank you, and it's your special day. So this one should be a fun little one. Again, I think kids or no kids, this one's a fun one. So um, you've got the cow punch that goes with it that will punch out the little, this little face, the body. And then there's, a, I think, I'm not even sure what that is. I think that might be a hoof, maybe. No, no, that's a flower, <laughs> I think, maybe. I don't even know. I'll have to play with it some more. Um, but this one I can see is going to put the little face on the cow. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, like I said, I'll have to play around with this one a little bit and figure out if that is, in fact, a flower or if there's something else that it punches out. So, all right, again, cutest cows. So. All right, moving right along. Oh, maybe if I can reach it. I've got a stack of just stamp sets. So there are some that um, don't have dies or anything in the catalog with them. Um, this one is called Filled with Happiness. And this one actually does have a coordinating punch. The Modern Oval Punch, uh, which coordinates with the Watercolor Melon stamp set, which is a celebration item. Um, the, the uh, same modern oval punch actually coordinates with this stamp set as well. Um, cow tail for the punch. You're probably right, Deborah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I think you're definitely right. So that would add a little color to the cow's tail. That would make sense. And I think that will punch out the horns. Now that I look at it, I think that's what that one is for. And then you'd be able to attach it to the back of the cow head. But yeah, I'll need to play around with it. So... Um, I don't know if it, uh, udder, I don't think so. I think it goes on the tail because I don't know where you'd, well, I mean, I know where an udder would go, but I don't see a spot that would work well on the cow punch. But anyway, we'll get it figured out when we play with it. So, all right, so again, filled with happiness. This one coordinates with the um, modern oval punch, which is cool. I love it. Love that they're, um, you know, that punch is carrying forward. And so got another stamp set that'll go with it. So there you go. Uh, this one is actually a host exclusive set and it's called Carnival Treats. And again, just some fun. Um, uh, the donut actually is what sold me on this one. <laughs> I don't even know why I love the donut in there. Um, and there's cotton candy, a little drink, a hot dog, popcorn, uh, caramel apple, little pieces of popcorn. So again, just a fun little stamp set. Um, this one's the host exclusive that you can actually earn. Um, you'll, you can get it for free with an order of $150 or greater. Um, or a party of $150 or greater while the catalog is live. So, and then um, we've got Quiet Reflection, which is one of the million dollar stamp sets. Um, so this one is actually Sarah Schuler's. And uh, yeah, so it's a really pretty, um, nice one for uh, sympathy cards. There's a You're On My Mind, Sorry For Your Loss. And uh, like I said, just some, some beautiful sentiments in it, beautiful images in it. So this one should be nice. And actually I saw a sample and saw Stampin' Up! use this with the brayer. So it, this is one of those that if you have trouble inking these, sometimes if your ink pad is too inky, they get kind of globby looking. Um, but if you use the brayer on it, that should work perfectly. So again, can't wait to try that out and uh, play around with the technique. And you can actually add different colors to it and that sort of thing with the brayer. So uh, again, Quiet Reflection is the name of that one. And then we've got Inspirational Sketches, which the bird is what sold me on this one. I love that little bird. Um, thank you for everything. Grateful for you and enjoy the journey. And flowers are beautiful in this one. This one would be really easy to stamp in color. And then you could die cut it with one of the many circle dies that we've got um, or a rectangle or something like that. All of these images would work well with that. So again, called Inspirational Sketches. And then Blueberry Bunches, which, I, again, I love this one. I don't even know why. I just, I like the blueberry images in it. So we've got a thank you, sending bunches of birthday wishes. Hello there for you and so happy for you. And then your pretty little blueberry images. Again, this would be a good one if you want to practice with your blends. Um, you can definitely uh, play around with that one. 
and do some stamping and coloring. And then finally, we have a graduation stamp set again, which I feel like we've been missing those in the last couple of catalogs. So um, this one is called Cap and Gown. And obviously it's got congratulations uh, and graduation type sentiments, cap and gown image here, the little hands, the little hat. Um, and then it's got a class of, and um, you can cut out, die cut out the little uh, numbers. So yeah, so this would be a good one. Graduation, so yay for that. All right, and the last thing that I ordered, oh, I can reach it, goodness, from the mini catalog, the rest of the items are actually gonna be celebration items, is the Sweet Thoughts, Memories and More card pack, and then the Sweet Thoughts, Memories and More cards and envelopes. Um, the color on this is Calypso Coral, Crushed Curry, Garden Green, Pecan Pie, and Pretty Peacock. And so, it's again, this looks like a good one, so, um, some pretty ones for, I'm not gonna flip through all of these, but these will be easy, quick and easy card fronts. Um, the world needs more people like you, so some flowers. So yeah, lovely moments. Flip them over here. Um, so yeah, this should be a good, a good one. And then um, there are the, these are the three by four cards. And then there are sticker sheets in here that have got some foiling on them, which is kind of cool. Um, so those always make nice accessories with the, the um, card bases. And then a couple more here, a couple more sticker sheets. I like the happy sentiment. And then this one has got more gold foiling on it. Um, ooh, the butterflies are really pretty in this one. So there we go, not gold foiling, copper foiling is the word that I'm looking for. Um, and then there are the four by six, I think is the size of these, uh, that are just some some good cards. Again, these make really quick and easy card fronts. Um, so yeah. Oh, the butterflies are pretty in that one. What else we have here? Oh, that's a pretty butterfly. So just add a sentiment, put it on a card base, and that one's all done. So all right. So again, that is the Sweet Thoughts, Memories, and More card pack. And then we've got the cards and envelopes that coordinate with it. So this is the inside of the envelope, actually. So that's what they'll see when they open it up. And then the outside has got the um, spot where you can write the address. All pre-decorated and pre-done. And then we've got card bases to match. So this one is obviously the Pretty Peacock. And then this one is Calypso Coral. Again, um, card base. It's white on the inside. You can just take one of the cards over here. Let me grab one of these. If I can find the, here we go. Grab one of these cards, stick it on the front, add a sentiment, maybe a few embellishments, and the card's done. So that's what I love about these. They're super quick and easy um, when you kind of need something fast and, you know, because you've forgotten something like I usually do. <laughs> so, all right. The last set of things that I've got are celebration items. So these are going to be available for free with orders of either $50 or $100. Um, so I'm going to start with some of the $50 level items. Yay for embellishments. And don't miss these in the celebration catalog. They're kind of, they're not showcased very well. They're kind of stuck in the middle of a page. <laughs> so be on the lookout for them. These are the opaque faceted gems. And I should have looked at what colors these are, but I did not. I'm saying that one's pecan pie, maybe calypso coral on that one. And balmy blue is what I'm going to go with. That's probably wrong. I don't know. <laughs> I should have looked at them closer before I, uh, you know, grabbed the catalog and looked at them before I uh, hopped on live, but I did not. They were just pretty, so I ordered them. <laughs> so again, opaque faceted gems is what these are called. And take a look. This is These are available for free with an order of $50 or greater uh, during celebration starting on January 4th. There's also ribbon. And again, this is one of those that's kind of, it's hidden a little in the catalog. It's sort of off to one side. So make sure you take a look and peek at all of the free items, anywhere where there's a little circle that says free with a $50 or free with a $100, that's a free item. So um, we've got pool party for the color and it is uh, 5 8 inch crinkled ribbon. So I'll just kind of hold it up here and you can look at it and it's soft and definitely will tie a bow really easily. So I think it'll be some fun ribbon. Um, I think it'll be good for baby cards and that sort of thing as I fumble through trying to tie a bow not very well on screen. <laughs> but anyway, just to show you that this one will be an easy one to tie bows with. A couple other things at the $50 level. So there's the Cradled in Love stamp set, which is a really pretty baby um, stamp set. So we've got the little uh, cradle and then the little, uh, is it mobile, mobile, whatever you call it, mo mobile? 
I think that's what it is, um, that you can stamp right over the top of it. And then there's a little elephant, a little bottle, and then just some fun sentiments in here. And then there's a rug image as well. And uh, should be really easy for some two-step stamping. This one's a photopolymer, so again, called Cradled in Love. And this one will be available for free with an order of $50 or greater uh, during celebration. And then we have heartfelt hellos, which is obviously just some nice sentiments. So there's a Mother's Day, Dad, you're the best. Love you more. Enjoy your day. Thinking of you this Easter and a hello. Um, so just kind of a good general uh, sentiment set called heartfelt hellos. And again, it'll be available for free with an order of $50 or greater during celebration. And next up... These two coordinate, but they're actually considered two separate items. So we've got Jungle Pals, which has got all sorts of cute little critters in it. Uh, a tiger, alligator, toucan, mm, sloth, lemur, I think is what Mary called this earlier. So I'm going with that. It's a lemur. I don't know that's what it is, <laughs> but I'll trust her. So again, Jungle Pals is the name of this. This will be available for free with an order of $50 or greater during celebration. And then there are some cute little dies that are called the Jungle Pal dies that coordinate with it. Um, that the open images will cut out your stamped images here. And there's a little tree, there's some grass, there's some leaves, there are vines, flowers. So all sorts of jungly related um, dies in here. And this is available for free with an order of $100 or greater. So you can order $150 or greater get these two items that coordinate together and get the uh, host exclusive stamp set with an order of 150 or greater during celebration. So there you go. Um, all right. Uh, out of the dies. I don't know that they're out of the dies, Robin. Um, you probably just didn't hit the little plus sign to show the hundred dollar items. Cause I think I don't, I think they're still available. At least they were when I looked last time. So just hit the little plus on, on the celebration page um, when you're checking out and you'll see down below that there's, that's where you get the $100 level items. So um, there's a detailed dogwood stamp set, which is also one of the $100 level items. So really pretty, um, obviously detailed images on here. Um, so this is a good one. It's a little bit bigger stamp set. Should be a good one for coloring and that sort of thing. And a couple more that are $50 level. Sorry, I thought I had gone all in order, but then I realized I got paper laying over here that is $50 level. So, um, all right. So this is called Sunny Days 12 by 12 Designer Series Paper, Basic Black, Crushed Curry, Petal Pink, Pool Party, uh, Poppy Parade, and Shaded Spruce are the uh, colors in it. So this is just a fun little pack of paper. Um, again, Sunny Days. And it coordinates with the bundle. Where is it at? It coordinates with the Bright Skies bundle, just so you know. I don't know that they, you know, you don't have to get them together, but they are designed to coordinate together. So cherries and stripes on this one. And then backside has just got some uh, general stripes, which I think you could use this one really easily with the cloud dies and have some kind of textured looking clouds when you do the um, die cutting with it. Some pretty flowers on this one. I love the, I love the colors in this one. And then the back side has got a whole bunch of little suns across it. Hopefully you can see those. I'm going to hold it up a little closer, so hopefully they get a little better look at it. And then we've got strawberries all over this one. Flip side has got butterflies all over it um, in shades of yellow. And then we've got uh, flowers in shades of green. Backside has got little green rainbows. This would be perfect for St. Patrick's Day. I just realized that. <laughs> so this would be a good one. Um, and then we've got uh, some flowers, just pretty red flowers. Flipping it over and do love this one. Um, it's kind of the plaid look to it. And then this one, I think, let me grab a couple of the dies here. And yep, this coordinates actually um, with the die set. So a couple of the dies will cut out the uh, images here in the paper, which I always love it when Stampin' Up! does that and, and uh, coordinates with us. Because, um, yeah, it makes it a lot easier because I'm kind of a lazy stamper and I like it when, <laughs> when I can just die cut things out. Perfect. So, all right. And then the back side, this is one that's designed to kind of make a little bit of a scene, not a bad scene, you know, just a scene with, you know, 
add in some, some uh, flowers and a sentiment, and you're probably all done with this one. So I've got some flowers on the top, flowers, clouds on the top, and uh, raindrops on the bottom of that one. So that's a cute little piece of paper. And already showed you the backside. So again, that is called Sunny Days, and it will be available for free with an order of $50 or greater uh, during celebration. And the last item that I have for you here is called Most Adored 12 by 12 Specialty Designer Series Paper. The colors in it are Flirty Flamingo, Real Red, and Gold. And this one coordinates with the um, Adoring Hearts, I believe. Hold on, let me grab that. Sure, I'll grab it. There we go. All right, I believe this coordinates um, with this set. Again, you don't have to get them together, but um, obviously like your flower image in here uh, coordinates with the, the flower image in the paper. And gold foiling on white on this side. And then the flip side has got whoop, little hearts in real red and white, which is always cute for Valentine's Day, weddings, whatever. Um, this side has got kind of a plaid look um, with gold foiling on it. And then, whoop, I got two pieces there. And then the back side has got little uh, pink hearts all over it. Uh, kind of, again, sort of a, not really ombre look, but different shades of pink throughout the paper. So a little lighter in some areas, darker in others. And then we've got uh, flowers on this one on a white background, gold foiling. And then kind of a marbled look in pink on the back, flirty flamingo. And then this one is the marbled look gold. And this one, I think you could take the brayer or a, um, your blending brushes or anything, add some ink to it so you could turn this into whatever color you wanted it to be with the gold on it. And then flip it over and it's got kind of that plaid look on the back with the uh, pink and red. And then we've got uh, little hearts all over. So this one has got a top and a bottom to it. So this one again would be really easy to just cut right in the middle. Cut it into three pieces this way and add a sentiment, maybe a little harder too, and it'd be all done. And then backside, I love this one. Kind of got the, the plaid within the um, shades of pink and red. And then just little dashes, gold foiling on this one. And then the backside has got all sorts of little pink hearts all over it. So it's a cute pack. And again, it coordinates with the Adoring Hearts um, stamp set bundle. But again, no need to get them together if you don't want to. This is also available for free with an order of $50 or greater during celebration. So that is it. That's everything that I ordered. Like I said, there are a couple things that I didn't order, believe it or not. <laughs> and um, But yeah, the new catalogs actually ordering starts on January 4th for customers. If you are interested in joining and getting a hold of the glass mat early as well as any of the products that I showed you, um, let me know and I can help you to get signed up as a demonstrator, get the 20% discount for yourself, uh, be able to get all the new stuff early. Yeah, lots of fun. So um, otherwise, this will all be available to order beginning on January 4th. So lots of pretty new things in the coming catalog. And uh, again, I will be mailing my catalogs out to my customers. Uh, actually, tomorrow I should have them in the mail to you. So you'll have them very soon. Um, but yeah, if you have questions about anything, holler at me. Um, if you are interested in ordering through me and would like me to send you a catalog, uh, drop me a note over on my catalogs form page, um, which is out of my blog, which is stampwithamyk.com. And I'll send you a copy of the upcoming catalogs as well. So let me know if you have questions on anything. I appreciate y'all being here. Have a wonderful afternoon, evening, whatever it is in your area. And um, well, I guess it could be morning depending on where you're listening from. But uh, yeah, so have a wonderful rest of your day. And uh, again, let me know if you have questions on anything. Lots of pretty new things coming. We will chat with y'all soon.